Hi, my name's Robert Kirk. I'm a part-time film extra, or supporting artist as they're also known. I've recently worked on some films uh, such as Sherlock Holmes and Stolen Emerald, and the slightly bizarrely called Love and Other Chairs. Both were great, um, great productions to work on, and I'll hopefully be working with those involved again sometime soon. My hobbies, they include playing darts. Uh, play, I play as part of a pub team. In our first season recently, we came in the uh, top 20 of our teams. And I was also one of the uh, top three uh, players in my team, and that was without getting any 180s. Uh, in my, I suppose, playing career, I've only got the one 180, um, and I did celebrate that as though I'd uh, won the World Cup. Uh, my other hobbies include uh, keeping fit and part of a fitness boot camp and also enjoy uh, doing mucky races, doing 5 or 10 uh, kilometre races, running around the countryside, jumping over obstacles and wading through mud pits that go up to here. And as I am rather tall, um, shorter people do tend to struggle, so I try and help them through it as well. Hello and welcome to the Travel Guide. Now are you ready for some armchair travel? Well it could be a lot more than that because you could be the winner of today's holiday competition. Now all you need to do is answer one simple question. Which fortified wine takes its name from the Portuguese town of Oporto? Is it A, Sherry, B, Madeira, or C, Port? If you think you know the answer, then give us a call on 0800 444 3. Calls cost no more than 25p, and we'll announce the winners at the end of the programme. Good evening, I'm Emma Margetts. And I'm Robert Cook. And welcome to tonight's discussion at News 360. Today's top stories. China has committed to being on a buying spree, and it's after one of the last remaining things the UK still produces, our food. A car bomb has gone off in Baghdad, killing four people and injuring a further 20. It's the latest in a long series of attacks in the region. Tony Blair has said remarkable progress has been made in Afghanistan and the country still fully commits to the programme. Well, there are our headlines for the next hour. Remember, you can text us and tweet us throughout the day.